A time when I started struggling with my identity, I can say it was during my teenage years. I grew up in a home where we have different cultural backgrounds from different countries and different parts of Mexico. My grandpa's side, they're Peruvian, and on my gran grandma's side, they're from the south of Mexico. I always felt out of place in my own home. I just felt out of place in general. Like when I was in school, I would just sit in the back and draw and sketch. When you start noticing that you don't fit in, I feel that, you know, if you don't have that right support system, you know, break you or make you. I didn't notice when I stopped eating, I just started doing subconsciously. People at school would notice. My teachers would be like, oh my God, you're, you're, you're losing so much weight. And like, when I started hearing that, motivated me to now do it consciously. I really was intentionally neglecting myself. But then when I was at home, like no one would notice. You know, it's a cry for help. All these acts of self-harm, you want someone to bring attention to it. And I feel when, you know, I was, I was so young, I was 15 and, and I, didn't, I didn't know that's what I wanted, but subconsciously, you know, I wanted someone at home to notice it and tell me like, hey, are you okay? But that never happened. What, what made me snap out of that was one time I fainted at the gym <laughs> and you know, that's when I, when I realized like, wow, this, this isn't really working. It's been a long process for me to pick up like the healthy and, and the good habits. I think one thing that has really helped is the community that I surround myself with, a community of people that um, are just very honest and upfront and you know they they've been through through a lot of things and they've shown me how they overcome what they went through so that has helped me look at my life from a different perspective and you know just just who I surround myself with has really made me understand life differently And now I can say that, you know, the more I, I talk to my family, the more I'm at home, the more I understand why I am the way I am, and the more I accept it. And, and recently I found out that a lot of like, people in my family are, are artists and, you know, they have their own quirks and they have their own art. Like my grandpa plays the guitar and um, he's really into sports and then my mom She's always been into like the prosthetics business, but she, through that, she found out that she loves sculpting. I don't want to say that someone is born with a sense of displacement, but when you have that since you're very young, it, it just takes a lot of work to find yourself and, and you know, pick up what, what is good for you. And, and I feel art, always was the thing that kept me going and kept me just answering and seeking these these answers and, and finding acceptance and finding who I am. It just makes me feel that, you know, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be.